everybody welcome back to Leslie Crafts today I'm going to show you a way I'm going to be doing some bag toppers and um, so this is one of my bag toppers I've done today um, so it's quite dimensional it's another way of doing it um, so yeah so that's one way and then that's another way and again the grid dimensional underneath there so and then I'm going to be doing this one but it's not as dimensional as the others but I think it will still quite work so I've sort of picked out what I'm going to be using um, I've made these as two inches and these little ones are an inch so I'm using a couple of them I'm using some tags which I've just cut out again using the die set from the works um, I'm sure you can if you're not in England I'm sure you can find them um, on Ali going to be using a rosette again um, and I'm not too sure I'm, I'm going to be lifting this up I most probably will be um, so I will just get some of my um, pre-cut things out there we go and then what else do I need no I think that's it yeah if I need anything else we can just grab it as and when I need it thank you so I've put tape on these already just so it helps and first of all I'm going to put my um, rosette on here and then just pop that on there and then I've got some of this pom pom trim uh, this was for one of my kits I was going to do for February but um, things didn't quite work out and yeah so the kids are fighting so that's always a good sign so I've just sort of measured it and then I'll just put a line of hot glue along there and then I will carefully lay this down Ooh, she says carefully and then goes and burns it off I'm just going to use my straw you can see what I'm doing just to push it down a bit there we go so it's just to give it a bit of bit of texture really um so I'm just gonna see what that like yeah I'm gonna do that just lips it up a little bit you know you can use a rosette underneath it if you want to you know so anything to just to give it a bit of height really okay and then i'm just going to put some glue on here going to stagger that to one side just like that and then I'm just going to do that one on the other side I'm going to put the glue on the tag on this one and just like so push it on to there and then put that on there and I might I'm going to put this one up on the phone um squares just to give it a bit more dimension so I love this set um from it's from craft slash 
and it's a UK company but they do ship worldwide so you can get your hands still on the collection and even if you don't want everything else there's the um, UBS and that contains all your papers and your little figures and some sayings and all sorts um, so yeah so you can you know do more or less everything I'm doing here just by using the you know um, the UBS so that is I have a bag topper done so I've got some of these out and I might just add a few onto here um, just add a bit of I don't know putting it up I'm not putting any um, string through here I don't think and I might even just glitter up the cloud with my like Winkastella type pen so obviously on the camera it's not going to show up the glittery bit There we go, so that is my bag topper of another Care Bear. So I think that's nice and pretty. Still quite dimensional, not obviously as dimensional as the others, but it still gives it a bit of height and a bit of um, focus. So and obviously that's my other one I've done. And these see all the bees come up on the on the CD on the uh, flash drive, you know. So you can make all of these and then everything else I've just added to it. And obviously, if you've got a cutting machine, you can cut out your figures as well as any size you want to. So that's even better. So yeah, so well worth the money. Um, and like I say, that is a nice quick little video for you and how to do a bag topper um, and I will see you again um, very soon. Okay, bye now.